Good morning. Yeah, good morning to everyone. Uh, 제가 한국 분들 위해서 제가 잠깐 uh, 말씀 uh, 안내 말씀드리겠습니다. 우리 영어권 분들 위해서 목사님이 하실 설교를 요약 설교로 잠깐 uh, 5분짜리 설교를 하겠습니다. Uh, for the our English speaking uh, congregation, I will do a short summary of the sermon that Pastor Lee will be uh, delivering in a few moments. And uh, today's word comes from Matthew chapter 16, verse 16 and 18. If you have your Bible, please turn to it or your device. Please turn with me to Matthew chapter 16, verse 16 and 18. And this is the word of God. Simon Peter replied, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Verse 18. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. In this very moment, if Jesus was to appear in this beautiful park and approach you, and asked you, who do you say that I am? How would you answer? Peter answered this very question with the verse in verse 16. It says, as Peter replied, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. But we're not going to focus on Peter, what his confession was, but rather we will focus on our confession of faith. How would we answer? Jesus, if he was to come from those, among those trees, walk to this place, and approaches you, who do you say that I am? Our confession of faith is very important. And how important is it? And we will cover it in two ways. The first way that we could look at is a confession of faith, how we devote our devotion, our commitment, of what we, how our salvation, our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Take for a moment uh, when a man confesses their love for the woman that he loves. How many of you, you don't have to raise your hands, but how many of you confess your love to the woman that you love? I did, and I'm, I'm sure many of you did too. And when you did that uh, confession, how did you do it? You meant it, right? You meant it now, but not just now, but continually. You will commit that you will devote, that you will always be there for that person because you confess your love. In the same way, our confession of faith is to confess our devotion, our commitment, our uh, the dedication to Jesus Christ, our Lord, who died for us on that cross. He gave his life to us. Now we say we, we confess our faith in that cross and what he did, and I will put my trust in you, Lord. That is the confession of the faith. But what, what is your confession? It is not just to say, Lord, I believe. It is to follow through. It's not just to believe now, but continually devote, commit, and uh, dedicate your life to Christ, loving Christ as he has loved us. Secondly, the second important point of building a uh, confession of faith is building of the church. Now, in the verse 18, this is what it says. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now, here it says, you are Peter, and on this rock. And what is this rock? This rock is our confession of faith in Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is the rock. And our confession of that Jesus being the rock, our foundation our, of our faith is confessing of our faith. Because he is saying here, on that rock, on that foundation of Jesus Christ and our confession of faith, he will build his church. And no power in hell, no power anywhere in the universe can prevail against it. That is the power, the strength 
and the uh, steadfastness that Jesus is promising. It is the uh, church that is unshakable, the church that could come go against any power, even the power of hell cannot go against the power of the church. Now take, for example, Emmanuel Church. Our church, yes, we gather together here. Church is not a building. Church is not an address. Church is not found in the map. Church is not something that you put in your Google navigation to find. Because you are the church. We are the church. Jesus has paid and in full the price that he purchased us. And we are the church. Just because we're not at 4723 Spruce Street, that doesn't mean we're not at church. Here, we are the church, amen? amen. We are doing church right now. So we have to be the church. And what does Jesus say? Go be the church. Dedicate to me. Could, could prove it to me of your confession of your faith. Just like he challenged Peter to go and build his church. And that is us. And be the church, the light of the world. Go there and be the light of the world. Because you don't say, it's a light, you don't hide it under a bow. But you put it up on the staff, up on the, it says a church on a hill that is shining for the world. Therefore, let's be the church that God has called us to be. It's not our church, it's Jesus' church. Jesus is the owner, amen? amen. Jesus is the Christ and Christ is our rock, and he's the one who builds the church. Therefore, let us go forth today, from this day, that we may commit to God, dedicate ourselves, devote ourselves, and knowing that he, is our, he has com commissioned us to be the, his church, let's welcome people as a church. Let us go to people as a church, because the only church some people will go is you. Because you are the church. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we have called us and asked us, who do you say that I am? Lord, we confess same way as Peter, that you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And we want to commit, devote, and dedicate our lives because we are not our own. 우리는 우리의 것이 아닙니다. 예수님의 것입니다. Because you are the owner, we dedicate ourselves as individuals and as a church, as an Emmanuel, because we're not a building, we're not an address, we're not a, uh, something we find on a map. We are a church that you have called to be the light of the world and the salt of this earth. Lord, let us go to become your church and imitate you to be, uh, to be like you in every way. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.